it's Friday. Last time I saw you was on Tuesday. I'm trying to get all my strapping up on my walls because I have a huge secret to tell you. I can't tell you until next video. So there's a reason I want to get it all done. However, that was on Tuesday. Today is Friday. I've been busy at work and I don't feel like going to Lowe's. I go enough on the weekends. I go like anywhere from three to six times on the weekends because I never know what I need until I need it and then it's I gotta go back again which wastes time on the bus however so I have plenty of three by twos in the back you can see them right there so what I'm gonna try to do is do a pony wall right here by the door the ultimate goal ultimate as I say because you know me I am not a professional carpenter I am self-proclaimed really bad at it however it gets done so what are you gonna do? So anyways, I'm gonna have a pony wall that sits pretty much almost the height of the window over here. So it will be kinda almost even with that window and it's gonna come down right where the blue tape is. And then what the ultimate goal is to have a table, a swinging table that comes up. However, today when I started looking at it, I realized I'm a moron. Well, that's okay, cause I have a solution. Now that little pole right there is gonna stick out in my freaking way. I don't need that pole. If I put a little handle at the top here, it'll work fine. So the plan is to still do what I wanted to do originally with that pony wall and then have like a little table that flips up when I want to use it. Because I don't want a permanent one. I think it takes up space and I'm not all about having like cramped in space. Even though I live in a tiny, I mean living in a tiny house bus, I don't want to feel like walking through a hallway like this all the time. So mine's more of an open concept kind of vibe. Anyways, so I just want to thank all of you for watching and I really, really, really appreciate all the awesome comments I've gotten. I like that like pumps me up and I'm like, yeah, let's get it done. So I really appreciate that. And I know a lot of you had said that um, you feel like I'm going really fast, which yes, I am. There's a reason for that. And I won't tell you right now. However, here's a reason for that. And y'all find out eventually but there is. Um, and I just want to like get her done, you know, why not? I have nothing else to do <laughs> except work. But anyways, I'm going to enjoy a little bit more of this one and then I am going to start that project and I'll videotape a little bit of it so you guys can see the struggles and the struggles are real always with me in this carpenter business that I don't have. But trying to do, I guess, is the what I'm trying to say. So, anyways, cheers. Okay, guys. So I just kind of want to take you through my Mad Hatter moments when I'm working on the bus. So what I do is I measure things out, and then I go from there. So I just made these two pieces. I wish you could see at the same time. I measured them both out of what the length. I was gonna use two by threes, but I felt like against the wall, that's too much. It's like too bulky and it's taking up too much space. So I used on the inside and on the floor part, and I'm gonna put a piece in the middle here. I'm using um, one by threes. And then in the middle, I'm gonna go ahead and stick for stability, one of the two by threes in there. Because I feel like that, actually I'm going to probably put it like that way. That way it just gives it a little bit more and I'll probably use the the uh, <clears throat> two by threes on th these end pieces. But for by the wall, on the wall and everything like that, I think I'm just going to stick with the, the one by threes because I have this door piece that I undid and realized this could still screw into the one by threes. I don't even know if I'm going to keep my door to be real honest. I've seen somebody that had the um, actual house door on it and I really like it. It looks good and to be real honest the bus doors are loud and like my dog's a light sleeper and I don't want him to wake up every time I go outside. So if I have that door opening every time he's going to wake up. Or if I have company or anything like that and I open those doors, I don't want them to be disturbed. 
So I think that's a whole nother monster there. And I'm not ready for that yet. So anyways, I just wanted to kind of walk you through of how I'm doing my little pony wall. I know it's getting dark out now. I could turn the lights on in the bus. I've been doing that a little too often lately. And quite honestly, I'm afraid of my batteries. <laughs> so I'm just trying to work with the light that I do have, which is absolutely fine right now. I mean, I can still see what the hell I'm doing, kind of. And just trying to finish up these pony walls. Because it's one less thing to do. on my project list. So, therefore, I want to get it done. I did pre-drill these. They just weren't big enough pre-drill holes, just so y'all know. I'm not just sitting here, like, grinding it, just to grind it. We're stripping this through. slide it right there and then I'll screw it into the floor. Ta-da! Half wall! But not complete because I still have to do the other side. So yeah, so that's... Whew. I almost killed you guys. Sorry about that. So that's what I'm doing. Still working on that. I guess I'm going to have to keep the lights on a little bit. Hopefully I don't run my batteries too down. Um, yeah, I have to go get fuel. That's why I don't just start the bus. But I need a seat in it to go get fuel. And that's my seat right now. So I can't do anything yet. Okay, so I'm on the last piece of it. So I figured I'd let you kind of see how I'm doing things. Um, I'm trying to make it as tight as I can. So I'm leaning on things and pulling on things and... I suppose if you had all the measurements correct, this wouldn't happen, but you know, it's me. And you do things weirdly. So, yep. That's how it goes. So I am almost done this part of the activity. Get everything kind of lined up. Most people do it for the level because that's the way you're supposed to do it. These little end pieces, kind of regretting using just the one by. I mean, I have my little wall, my half wall, up, and what I'll probably do is, yeah, don't look at that gap right there. <sighs> that was a one by three that didn't work out so well. However, it's probably pretty easy to change, so tomorrow when I get some more wood, I can change it out and it'll be better. So, but yeah, that is my pony wall. I haven't seen, like, I haven't shut the door because it's pretty warm out tonight. To see how I did as far as lining it up with 
the door. So let's shut the door and see how I did. Shall we? Okay. Well, I mean, it's a little bit higher than the window. I mean, not by a ton. So, I mean, I can always like just put the bracket or the table down lower. I mean, that's not a huge deal. I kind of wanted to make a um, gate for the dog, my Walter dog, because if I do anything, he's gonna wanna go outside and he is a hound dog. So he will sniff and run away and I don't want that to happen. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is building another structure over in there and then putting like a gate kind of thing that will like close that way but then when I have the door like I'll have it boxed up but then when I have a door it will like swing over to this section so it will close it off but it won't waste space having a gate in there so I'm happy with my project it's not absolutely beautiful but it's strong and it's functional so that's what I was going for <laughs>